next thing this is kind of cool so with this template um i didn't make i didn't make like three separate images this is actually one big gallery block in the way that the hunter template works and i think any of the brine family so brine hunter i don't know the rest off the top of my head you can look them up uh, i'll send out a link when you add a gallery to an index it'll make it look like this right so i want to add those images let's here's there's i want to show you another way to add uh images or content instead of clicking the you can do it like this you can click plus the plus icon add an image it brings up this image thing you click add an image from there and then i click that picture you can only do one at a time that way that takes forever as you can see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my finder i'm going to find those images on my desktop i'm going to grab those three portfolio images that i want and just drag them right over here and drop them that's way easier in my opinion uh <clears throat> than doing them one at a time especially if you have like a gallery of like hundreds of pictures it goes way faster these are definitely larger you can see they're eight megabytes 10 megabytes 14 megabytes those are too big i should definitely shrink those down um i was being lazy but the way you export in photoshop or whatever photo editing software you're using uh, you should export it for web and that automatically shrinks it down as much as it can while retaining the quality because that's the that's the balance that you have to go with is like i'm losing i'm 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 shrinking in size but i'm losing in quality you can see the long, the bigger the picture is the longer it takes and that's like watching paint dry all right cool so we have these gallery images loaded and look it pops up exactly like it looks on the current version of my site uh where it is there's it okay it's looking pretty similar right except for the footer um you have these three different images and it just automatically makes it look really badass like that with the big one on the left the first one and then two on the right and you can change that and we're going to talk about that once we get to styling it um you're going to ask, how do I get this text over the top of that image? Well, I'm going to hover in the gallery, right? I'm at the home page. I'm going to click new gallery. I should have named that. That was a bad convention on my part. I'm going to double click to change the name. And we're going to call it um, portfolio. Right? But what doesn't happen? I click the gear icon. And you can see the URL slug is still new gallery super important that i want to drill down because you're going to make your page and then you're going to forget that you did that and then you're going to change your page and then later on people are going to go to your site and they're going to see up in this url they're going to see like nickroco.com slash test example page four five seven nine two and that's super unprofessional so keep those url slugs consistent uh what did i call it portfolio yeah all right how do I add the text on top of the pictures? Here's how to do it. Hover over the specific image. I'm going to click the gear icon. I'm going to change the title. Evergreen Law. He's a cannabis attorney. Pretty cool. It's huge in LA right now. All right, it's a website. Oh, actually, what I did is this is a little bit different. So I make, I make the title this, and that's how this shows up. However, to make these show up, you have to add categories. And we're going to talk about that once we get to the blog and the products. But I'm going to add a category of website redesign. Uh, hit enter. Create a new category and podcast production. Right. And SEO. Click the second one accidentally. You'll see that really, really faint, but like this one's not selected. Now it's selected. Cool. So I'll save it. I'm not going to do it to the other three or the other two for sake of time. And it's not going to show up yet because I haven't set the settings to make it show up yet. But it's there and ready to go.